Hi, my name is Miss Sarah and I'm with Orange County Library System. Welcome to our opossum story time with a Native American folk tale. Caregivers, I want to make sure that our little ones are excited to be here with us. So if you want to get your little one excited, you need to participate as well. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is everybody stand up because we're going to work on those gross motor skills. So we have a little rhyme and you can follow along with me if you know it. And if not, then just do the motions with me. When the sun comes up in the sky, I sit right up and I rub my eyes. I dress myself with greatest care. I brush my teeth and I comb my hair. Then it's off to story time I go to hear the stories I love so. Good job, everybody. So today for our story time, we're gonna meet some fun woodland friends. So we've got Bat, Rabbit, and Opossum. So we're gonna pat out syllables. Can everybody pat along? Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. My name is Miss Sarah. What's your name? Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. My name is Bat. What's your name? Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. My name is Rabbit. What's your name? Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. My name is Opossum. What's your name? Now I'm going to pat that out and you can fill in your name at home. Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. My name is What's your name? Good job, everybody. That was great, tapping out the syllables. Today, our story time also involves the letter O. Do you know what the letter O looks like? This is a letter O. And this is a letter O. Can you say O? Notice that your mouth will make an O when you say O. All right, now everybody put your finger up in the air because we're gonna practice drawing an O together. So we'll start at the top and we'll loop down and around and come back up to right where we started. Can you try that with me? Down and around and right back to where we started. Good job. Can you think of anything that starts with the letter O? Hmm, let's see. How about otter? Otter starts with the letter O. Hmm, what else starts with the letter O? Hoo, hoo. Owls. Owls starts with the letter O. What else starts with the letter O? Hmm. What lives in the ocean and starts with the letter O? How about an octopus? Octopus starts with the letter O. Good job. What else starts with the letter O? Sometimes these will give us pearls. How about an oyster? Oyster starts with the letter O. And one more, let's think. This could be a fruit or a color. That's right, it's an orange. Good job. Orange starts with the letter O. That was great. Today, our story is about an opossum. Do you know what an opossum is? Opossums are the only marsupial or animal that carries its young in pouches in North America. In North America, opossum and possum describe the same thing. But in Australia, the word possum refers to a completely different animal. An easy way to tell the difference between the opossum and the possum is the tail. An opossum's will be hairless, while a possum's will be covered with fur. 
Female opossums are called Jills, and male opossums are called Jacks. Baby opossums are called Joeys, just like baby kangaroos. Opossums got their name from the word opossum, a term that means white beast in the language of the Algonquin tribe, a Native American tribe from the Northeast United States. So today we're also going to learn the sign language for possum. So you can do this along with me at home. Everybody hold up one finger with your pinky out and hold up your other pinky like a hook. Then you hook the one pinky onto the other and swing back and forth. This is possum in American Sign Language. Good job, everybody. Today, our Native American folktale comes from the Coshada tribe that is originally from the southeastern United States. And this is the story about how the opossum got her pouch. One night, by the light of the glittery moon, Mrs. Opossum was playing in the forest with her babies, when all of the sudden, Bat swooped in out of nowhere and picked up the babies and carried them off. Bring me back my babies, said Mrs. Opossum. But Bat would not. Bat flew off and dropped the babies into a deep, dark hole in a cave. Mrs. Possum walked all through the forest, crying and crying for her babies, when along came the wolf. Why are you crying, Opossum? said the wolf. Bat has taken my babies and will not give them back, said Opossum. I will help save your babies, said the brave wolf, and off he went into the cave. A moment later, he came running out, yelping and yowling, oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry, Opossum, but I cannot help you save your babies. And off he went. Opossum walked through the forest, crying and crying, when along came Mrs. Rabbit. Opossum, why are you crying, said Mrs. Rabbit. Bat has taken my babies and will not give them back, said Opossum. I will help you save your babies, said Bold Rabbit, and off she went into the cave. A moment later, she came running back. Ow, 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 ow! I am sorry, Opossum, but I cannot help you save your babies. And off she went. Opossum was losing all hope as she walked through the forest, crying and crying, when along came the Highland Terrapin. Why are you crying, Opossum? said the Highland Terrapin. Bat has taken my babies and will not give them back, said the Opossum. I will help save your babies, said the Highland Terrapin and off he went into the cave. A moment later, Opossum heard some yelling from the cave. Oh, oh, oh! But out came the Highland Terrapin carrying her babies. Bat tried to stop him by swooping at him, but he bounced off Highland Terrapin's hard shell and the babies were safe. Let's make sure this never happens again, said Mr. Terrapin. And he gave Mrs. Opossum an apron to keep her babies in. Keep your babies here until they are done with their mother's milk, said the Highland Terrapin, and you can keep them safe forever. And that is the story of how the Opossum got her pouch. If you enjoyed these books, then look for these other books at the Orange County Library System. Why Opossumundus Has No Hair on His Tail by Colleen Sally, illustrated by Janet Stevens. Mama, why don't I have hair on my tail? Opossumundus asks. Mama knows why, and her story's a doozy. It goes way back to Opossumundus' great-great-grandpa, Papa Possum when Hungry Papa Possum in his growly old stomach 
meet up with wily hair, cranky bear, and a persimmon tree, well, it's one hair-raising adventure. Also, we have Possum and the Summer Storm by Ann Hunter. After their home is swept away in a summer flood, Possum and his children build a new home with the help of the other animals. I hope that you like these books and that you'll find other books that you enjoy at the Orange County Library System. We have some apples here. Can you count the apples with me? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five apples. Can you put your fingers up and wiggle them? Five apples. Caregivers. Having your children move their fingers like this will help them with their fine motor skills, which will help them with writing later on. And then we have our sneaky, sneaky possum who loves to have apples. So we have five red apples swinging in a tree, teasing Mrs. Possum, you can't catch me. Long came Mrs. Possum, quiet as quiet can be, and snapped one apple right out of the tree. How many apples do we have left now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four. Can you wiggle four fingers? Good job. Four red apples swinging from the tree, teasing Mrs. Possum, you can't catch me. Long came Mrs. Possum, quiet as quiet can be, and snapped another apple right out of the tree. How many apples are left now? One, two, three. Three little apples hanging in a tree, Teasing Mrs. Possum, you can't catch me. Along came Mrs. Possum, as quiet as quiet can be, and snapped another apple right off of the tree. How many apples do we have now? One, two. Two little apples swinging the tree. Teasing Mrs. Possum, you can't catch me. Along came Mrs. Possum, as quiet as quiet can be, and snapped another apple right off of the tree. How many apples are left now? That's right, just one. One red apple swinging from the tree. Teasing Mrs. Possum, you can't catch me. Along came Mrs. Possum, quiet as quiet can be, and snapped another apple right out of the tree. How many apples are left now? <gasps> no apples, no apples left for Mrs. Possum. Good job, everybody. We have one more song together and then we're gonna do our craft. So, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thank you for coming everybody. Now let's go and do our craft together. Thank you for coming to our Opossum Storytime with the Orange County Library System. Hope you all had a great time, and if you enjoyed this video, please check out our other YouTube story times. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. 
Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.